four teenagers appeared in court this morning on murder charges for allegedly hurling a sandbag over an overpass, killing a 22-year-old man in a car below. This isn't the first incidence of a thrown item killing or injuring innocent people. Hey race a look at some other occurrences that involved items ranging from a sandbag, a rock, a shopping cart and even a frozen turkey. Four teenagers are in custody after Toledo, Ohio, police say they threw a construction sandbag from an overpass on December 19, hitting a passenger in a car on the interstate below. The victim, 22-year-old Marquise Bird, of Warren, Michigan, died three days later. Three teenagers are 14 years old, police said. The other teen is 13. They were charged with murder and vehicular vandalism, the Lucas County Prosecutor's Office said. The teens appeared in court this morning, where they denied the murder charge, the prosecutor's office said. Five teenage boys in Michigan are facing charges including second-degree murder for allegedly throwing a rock at a van that went through the windshield and killed a passenger in October. On October.18, the victim, Kenneth White, and his friend were driving on the interstate when the driver said a large rock came through their van. The rock, according to the driver, struck White, 32, in the face and then ricocheted from his face to his chest, officials said. The teens, who were charged as adults with second-degree murder, were also charged with conspiracy to commit murder and malicious destruction of property. They all pleaded not guilty, ABC affiliate WJRT in Flint reported in October. They could face life in prison if convicted, officials said. WJRT reported in October that White's fiancée, Ami Kegel, said she hoped the teen who allegedly threw the rock is sentenced to life in prison. Kegel added that she will try to forgive the teens, WJRT reported. I know that's what Kenneth would have wanted, she said. It's going to take time, a lot of time. On October.30, 2011, a New York City woman was seriously injured when a shopping cart fell four stories onto her at an East Harlem shopping center, according to the Associated Press. The victim, Marion Hedges, was at the mall at the time buying Halloween candy for underprivileged children. She suffered a serious brain injury. Two teenagers pleaded guilty in the assault. One teen was sentenced to 6 to 18 months at a center for at-risk students, while the other teen was ordered to spend six months in a therapeutic group home, the New York Post reported. In 2012, Hedges said she forgave the teens. As of 2015, Hedges was still suffering from memory loss, double vision and impaired motor skills, the Post reported. Her husband, Michael Hedges, told the Post, this has destroyed our lives in every possible way. On November.13, 2004, a 44-year-old woman was in her car on Long Island when she was struck in the head by a 20-pound frozen turkey, the New York Post reported. Victoria Ruvolo spent two weeks in an induced coma. Her esophagus was caved in, both cheeks and her jaw were shattered, the socket of one eye was fractured and she suffered brain damage. Then, 18-year-old Ryan Cushing pleaded guilty and was sent to jail for six months.